In this video, we'll learn about the shaping tool. And the shaping tool is not currently viewable, but it will be found on the top toolbar. And it's only shown once you have multiple objects selected. And so let's go ahead and select a new empty design tab and use the shapes tool to draw a couple of different shapes. And I'll go ahead and draw overlapping shapes like this now. If I select both of them, then we see new tools appear such as Align and Shaping. And in this video, we'll talk about the Shaping tools. So when I click on Shaping, I have three objects, Weld, Trim, and Intersect. Weld will take the two shapes and combine them to be one shape. And so it takes the common outline of the two shapes and makes it one outline in one solid shape. So I'm going to hit undo. So you can clearly see we're back to having two individual rectangles again. And I'll select them both again. And this time you'll see that under shaping, I'll choose trim. And with trim, whatever shape is on top will trim its overlapping boundary with the shape that's underneath. So if I move this away, see how the shape underneath has now had a small bite taken out of it by the rectangle that was on top. And so that is called trim. And I'll undo and undo again so that you'll see I have now two solid rectangles again. And this time I'm going to select them both. And this time we'll choose intersect. And what you'll find is that it's going to create a new object based upon the area where the two shapes intersect. And this is the new object that gets created in the overlapping area. So those are the, the different shaping tools that can be used to help with um, you know, trimming your artwork to create new shapes.